Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eric with FisherDrumming.com. Thanks for tuning in and joining me on this new lesson. I'm excited to go over this with you. This is something a little different. Not like we're not gonna do drum stuff, but we're gonna look at something kinda cool today. I'm gonna bring you in on something that I'm working on on a future project that's gonna be released here pretty soon, and I wanna share it with you guys first. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at a drum groove in a song, and not just any song, but a song that I'm actually writing and recording right now. Um, I've been writing and working on an EP album for the last several months, and it's taken a long time, but we're getting close to finishing it up, and I should be releasing it soon. That's also one of the reasons I haven't been updating the YouTube lessons as frequently lately, so thanks for your patience. Um, hopefully we'll start to get back on track with you know one lesson a week. So let's just get started breaking this groove down setting the context, and then we'll go over the exact sticking. So the first thing that I want to stress is this is in 4-4 four, four time, okay? This is going to be a straight feel, okay? We're not swing, it's not a swung groove, it's a straight groove, and it's going to be a two-bar phrase. So the whole phrase of this groove is going to take up two measures. One of the things I want to stress as I teach this groove to you is this groove isn't busy, it's not overcomplicated. And you know, as drummers, we have to remember that we don't need to play complicated busy grooves um, all the time. You know, sometimes it's just playing something very basic, an eighth note phrase, but just making sure we play it well and making sure we execute it in the right articulation with the right dynamics and feel. So the first way we're gonna make it more interesting is we're gonna make it a linear pattern. And the second way we're gonna make this groove a lot more interesting is by the way we're orchestrating this around the drum set and the way we're using our voices, so to speak. All right, so let's take a look at the first measure and I'll walk you through one note at a time. Kick, rim, snare, kick, rim, hi-hat, snare, hi-hat. And the sticking of that is kick, right, left, kick, right, left, right, left. Now, if you don't have one of those, you can play that on your rim, okay? So now, just to get comfortable, let's just loop that first measure so you can get comfortable with this first half of the phrase of the groove. Okay, moving on to the second measure to finish out the phrase. We're basically playing the same thing, we're just changing the last three notes. So we're playing up to the three, exactly the same as the last groove. We have kick, click, snare, kick, click, right? Exactly the same. What's changing is after that, we're gonna hit, instead of our hi-hat with our left hand, like we were doing, we're gonna move our right hand on the rack tom, we're gonna play tom, snare back beat, and then we're just gonna play and one with our floor tom, okay? So we got doom, ka, doom, boom, okay? And you can do a double kick there. I like to do a double kick right underneath my floor tom notes. That's the only non-linear part of this groove. So let's just play that part a few times together now and get the feel of that. All right, so we've learned the individual measures. Now let's play the whole phrase together and just loop that. And I think and one thing you're gonna notice about this groove is when we put a click to this, this groove is supposed to be played slow. Now that doesn't mean it's going to be easy, right? Because we have these different voices happening. What's gonna be challenging for some of you on this groove is to actually be on the click, okay? And actually making both snare notes sound the same between your left and your right hand coming in with those eighth notes in the right spot. Okay, so this is working on a lot of things. It's helping you develop your time, you know, your overall technique, limb independence, and just, you know, creative ideas on the kit. So let's have fun with it. Play it nice and slow. Try to stay on the click and have fun with me.
guys, if you like this lesson where we're getting into the music and we're learning the grooves in the music, then I think you're really gonna like this new course we have. Um, it's actually gonna be you know, something that I'm gonna really recommend to all the drummers who are trying to get better at playing gigs, learn new songs, um, understand basic music theory, become a better musician, not just a better drummer, but all around a better musician. You know, how do we as drummers really serve the song and know what to play? Um, you know, transitional fills, build-ups. You know, how do we as drummers come into a situation where somebody sends us a list of, a list of songs and we have to learn those songs? You want to be able to easily chart out the songs for yourself. Um, I have an awesome way to do that. I want to share that with you in the course. You know, all of those things are so important, right? So there's a lot in this course, and I want you guys to be a part of it. If you want to stay on track when I'll be releasing that, and as well as the EP, then just go to the link down in the description below, or the pop-up here. It'll take you to uh, fisherdrumming.com, where you can sign up with your email for free. Uh, that just puts you on my mailing list, so I can keep you updated with what's coming out of Fisher Drumming, including the course and the EP. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching this whole lesson. Please give me a thumbs up, share your comments down below. I hope you're going to enjoy this, and I'm looking forward to doing more lessons like this in the future. See you on the next one. Take care and have fun.